Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had helped the uh, Romeo and Juliet analog find love and compromise between the families in the uh, most annoying of possible ways because they just would not stop it for once. And uh, now we continue on with a new mystery, which is trying to find out how Revan and Malik prove themselves worthy to this robot here. Well, I guess the temple itself that was guided in its construction by the robot by a bunch of slaves who were promptly killed after they were done making it. Hell of a retirement package. Okay, so uh, we're going to go this way. Oh, Guardian Droid. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to need this. I'm going to need this. And then I'm going to need that. And then go for that. I'm going to need everyone else to also follow my lead on that. Uh, with Sniper Shot from you. And... I assume you're not able to get a good shot. Okay, well. Welp. What can I do? Okay, time to go in. Alright. Uh oh. Not good. Could could you focus on just doing the attack part, please? You can Focus on doing everything else later. Uh, then a cure after that. What can I do? Yes. What? There we go. Okay, I keep getting frozen. Can I? Could you maybe stop doing that? Okay. Well, we've gotten through the droid's uh, shield, which is good. Could you stop it, please? Could you stop freezing my body? Okay. Okay. Well, this is taking a turn. Well, I healed. At least I did that. Okay, I'm slowly making my way through its health. I'm now a little more than a third of the way there. Alright. Okay. Save. Damn it. Okay, well, time to heal again. Yeah, mission, that's what I'm saying. Just die for fuck's sake, you goddamn droid. All right, well, time to heal again. I'm now out of force points. This drag is... This fight has dragged on, rather. This fight has dragged. That's what I meant. Uh, this drag has fought. <laughs> All right. Come on already. All right. Well... Do I have any normal med kits? I do. Uh, guess I'm gonna have to use more of them. There we go. Eventually, we'll carve through this damn droid. Come on! This fight has dragged on for four minutes. There we go. Only 25 XP for that? Suck my ass! Devour my colon. <sighs> Alright. Well.
<sighs> Do that, I guess. I'm the one who did... Huh? <laughs> who here. took yes. all the damage. So if anything, huh? I deserve all the healing. What? Alright. Ancient Terminal. Uh, ancient computer hums and throbs as you approach it. Its screen flickers to life and a stream of incomprehensible characters scrawl across it. Um, attempt to slice it. Given no knowledge of the ancient system and a patent inability to read its output, your attempt is doomed. Okay. Um, press many buttons at random. Continue to do so. Talk. Computer goes silent. It's screen blank. A few extremely unusual characters then appear on the screen. The computer emits a rapid sequence of tones. You hear one of those tones softly echoed by your data pad. A small data receptacle opens in front of the ancient machine. I insert the data pad into it. The computer seems to be interfacing with your data pad. The screen goes blank again, and then more familiar characters begin to appear on the screen. That's gibberish. <laughs> That's why I don't read it. Computer goes silent again, humming softly. It seems to be processing data from your data pad. Your data pad is released from the receptacle and the machine goes silent for a moment before flickering to life again. Data interpretation complete. Language analysis complete. Continue. Identify the th interrogative. Okay. I, I assume it's interrogating me. Uh, identify the three primary death-giving seed world types. I'm assuming desert, volcanic, and barren. Planetary type conducive to death. Additional seed world types. Volcanic. Planetary type conducive to death. Additional seed world type. Barren. A planetary death type conducive to death. Breaking death seal. That seems like a thing I don't want to break. I'm going to be honest. But, uh... Okay. I guess. That explains why this big old robot was here. Fucking kill my ass. Alright, well. Time to heal up again. Let's open this door. Have a shield on just in case. Oh, good. I was right. I was going to need it. Ha uh, joy. What? Let's have what you over do? here. Let's have you over here. Uh, for now, I'm going to have you do disable droid and then go to improve flurry and keep up the attacks from there. You, I'm going to have you do sniper shot, then power blast, and then continue attacks from there. Me, I'm just going to Ah, <laughs> I was on the wrong person. <laughs> I was like, improve. What? I didn't master last episode. Uh, it was because the game goofed. Uh, I thought I was on me. Master Flurry, critical strike, Master Flurry, critical strike. And I'll continue that method until I eventually kill the fucking thing. Yay, the shield's gone. Oh boy. This one's using fire instead of freezing. Kind of nice. Not as good, but it's nice. There we go. Energy resistance should help me a little bit. It'll do cure. Fuck off with this. Do another heal. Because that fire is tearing through us. Nobody's business. Alright. Another cure. The force fights with me. We are slowly making our way through this fucking fight. It's easier than it was with the freezing guy. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, come on. Eventually. Okay. Run the shield again. Hopefully that'll save me from more damage again. If now he's just using blaster bolts. Come on. Would you die, please? Please just die. Thank you. Fast a lot for landing the killing blow, because that fight was taking too long. Holy shit. Alright. Wow. Oh, wait. Wreckage. Oh. Huh. Okay. All right. Ancient terminal. Uh, talk to the computer. Insert. Uh, talk. And there we go. Data interpretation complete. Language. I did the language analysis complete. That's what it meant to say. I'm sleepy. Identify the three primary life-giving seed world types. Oceanic. Planetary type conducive to life. Additional seed world types. Grassland. Uh, additional seed world type. Uh, arboreal. Arboreal? I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't fucking know. I'm half asleep. Doesn't help. Breaking life seal. Now that seems something like you want more to break, if anything. All right. Yeah. And it should allow me to go through here, I guess? Or is it this way? Wait, Nemo was at the door. So, this way, yeah. Had to make sure before I just walked out accidentally. Okay. Don't know why we went to that camera angle, but all right. Um... Uh, what is this? This, this must be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. What is it? This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Okay. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use mm. this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. Maybe. So this is a map to lead it to it. Okay. Lead us to it, rather. I, well, I still don't understand about the Starforge. What exactly does it do? Do. I, I don't know, but Revan and Malik were very interested in finding it. it. Must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the council can tell us more. But I think mm. this map might be the key to finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here? Okay. This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tatooine, and here's Manan. But there are pieces okay. missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. Perhaps those worlds have more clues. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Mm -hmm. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Star Forge. In some way to destroy it. Here's we must hoping. inform the council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. Fair enough. All right. Well, we've done what was asked of us. Time to 
heal up. Boy, do we deserve it. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Now we head out the door. Since our business in this area has concluded. There we go. And we shall head back to the fucking Jedi Temple. These things are just all over the damn place. Just all over. No avoiding them. There we go. Don't know why mission had to get in so close, but okay. That's a thing, I guess. Alright, I think we go this way to get back. And once again... I said ignoring some of the things I'm telling it to do. I don't get it. Yeah, there's there's no mistake. My flurry is the one that's causing the stun. But why? It's not mentioned in its I don't know. I'll take it. It's useful. I'll take it. But that's about it. Alright. Oh, and the reason I'm not wearing the Jedi robe like I said I was probably going to uh, is because it would knock my defense quite a bit down and I would rather try to get some of those powers that will help up it uh, without the armor first before I do anything like that. Eventually. Eventually I'll do that. But for now... I'm just going to run with Davik's Warsuit. Because it is extremely useful. Bastila seems to have something on her mind. Alright, well, let me drink my coffee so I can understand what you're talking about. How can I help? Well, I mean, I want to talk about that dream. It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, I still don't understand why we shared this vision. Are you wondering why we shared the vision? Or why we even received it in the first place? Por que no las dos? We can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near physical bond. That's weird. Sound, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will. Mm -hmm. And perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. Fair enough. How did our fates become linked? I, I don't know. Believe me. I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. Just seems a little convenient. The Force often seems to cause events that bend the laws of probability. Especially with those that are strongly affiliated with it. In this respect, you and I will simply have to become accustomed to such convenience. We are the tools of the Force, and we will do as it wills. Fair enough. Not me. I do what I want. <laughs> so we, you, you make the force sound alive, which we already know it is. Uh, so we have no free will of our own, then. Quite the contrary. Ours is the ultimate free will. The force is our destiny, but the choices we make along it are ultimately our own. Well, I mean, that'd be nice. I have another question. What would you like to know? Uh. Why did we dream of Malak and Revan? Perhaps because we desired to. Perhaps because they um, came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. Well, I certainly didn't want to dream about them. That would not be my first choice either. But choice appears to be irrelevant in this matter. We dreamed Fair about enough. Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. What do you think they were doing? I have no idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. Fair enough. Uh, I'm not sure I like the idea of you being in my dreams. And are you so certain that it is not you in my dreams? Pretty certain, yeah. I see. That is most likely vanity speaking, for I am not certain myself. 
Regardless, our fates are linked. The vision was no doubt meant for us both. Why, 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 why do you have to, why do you have to shit on my vanity, huh? My vanity is what keeps me alive at this point. Why do you think I'm still doing YouTube? <laughs> nope, couldn't keep a straight face. <laughs> uh, do you think we will receive more of these visions? With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. That's fair. That's fair. That's all I wanted to know. As you wish. You really should return our thoughts to business anyway. Sounds good. To business then. We continue on to the council. Presumably. Uh, Belaya. Master Jar tells me you have successfully completed the tests. And I even see you have constructed your own lightsaber. Yes, I you have. You should be proud of your accomplishment. But never forget that you still have much to learn. Absolutely. As your power grows, you will constantly face temptations to slip to the dark side. This is the eternal struggle of the Jedi. It is. I know this. We have Exhibit A right here with Juhani. Alrighty. Well, just gonna walk over here. So loud. Oh, you're a Pazak person. I don't have a deck. Yeah, you wouldn't pay for a deck for that much. Elise. I, I took the loss of my droid much too hard. I feel I must apologize. A reward speaks louder than words. Uh, there's no need. But I must. I was much too attached to my droid. It was all that was left of my husband, you see. Maybe I thought that through the droid, my husband could live again, be with me still. Mm -hmm. I think we understand. Love can do strange things to anyone. You but understand? I went too far. I could not see what was missing in living a normal life. Fortunately, in my grief, I returned here and ran into Samt, an absolutely fascinating man. Oh, really? Not half the man I am. <laughs> uh, that's a statement. Uh, yes, he seemed quite nice. Samt and I got to talking, and, well, we have a lot in common. I think we'll be seeing more of each other. Oh. It's funny how things work out in the end. Maybe there is such a thing as fate, after all. But yes. I think we should be going now. We have so much more to talk about. I just wanted to thank you for what you've done for me and what you tried to do. Goodbye, and thank you. You're welcome. Glad I could help. I had a feeling that that was where I needed to go to tie up that loose end for that quest. But it's done now. All right, uh, I'm going to check if there's any other loose ends. Yep, and Hawk. No... That's it. That's all of it. Okay. I guess we just got to talk to the council to get our next mission that we need to accomplish. All right. Ah, you have returned, young Padawan. I have. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? Uh, we have... <laughs> I could just lie about it. No, no, I didn't find a damn thing. Uh, we found an incomplete star map and mention of something called a star forge. This news of a star forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. Okay. We should consult the Jedi archives to see if there's any mention of the star forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Okay. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. Okay. Thank you. There is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. Is there? We Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. Okay. I have consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this star forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Mm -hmm. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak right. sought it out when they began their tragic fall. 
The Starforge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the Maybe. ruins showed you four planets, mm -hmm. but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. Yeah. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashik, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. All right. It sounds like a suicide mission to me, but I'm ready to do the Council's will. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Alrighty. Uh, others will only slow me down. Am I to undertake this mission alone? Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Okay, good. Bastila will accompany you. For there is oh. a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani All right. has also asked oh. to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Okay. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Maybe. Uh, there are others I want to join me. Of course, those who aided you on Terrace will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Yay! I get to have Remember Mission and Zell and Karth with me. Are paramount to Ooh. your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi. Nor should you. Okay. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. Okay. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you. A safe haven. Sounds good. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. Sounds good to me. When do I leave? You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. Okay. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands. What do you mean all too familiar? We pray you are up to the challenge. May the force what do you be mean all you. too familiar? What do you mean all too familiar? What do you know? Huh? What do you know? Huh? 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 Walk. I should walk out of here. I'm not stuck. <laughs> I must go. <laughs> I'm not stuck. <laughs> oh, that bit got me stuck. Okay. Let's go to the workbench to work on my lightsaber a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I have the Bondar crystal on it. That's what's causing the stun. Ah, uh, I forgot. I'm stupid. Okay. Um, let's let's keep that on this one. And. Add sigil to the offhand because the offhand usually has a damage penalty anyway. S or at least I remember that was the case. Oh, Jahani gets to accompany me in a quest for the Star Forge. Cool. Maybe that's no longer a thing because of my feats. It, it reduces the attack penalty. But, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I used up all my shield. Put that on there. Um, maybe I'll just swap them. Because the main hand would probably do the most damage overall anyway. Yeah, maybe I'll just swap them. Boop. 
There we go. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> I love doing that. It's my funniest bit. <laughs> okay. Now let's check. Oh, that's already all full equipped. That's all good. That's all good. Melee stuff. That's all good. That's all good. I am swimming in upgrades for weapons I don't have nor need. Okay, cool. All right. We will move out. I wonder if we find Juhani on our way. Or if she's moved. Oh, she's moved. She moved to uh, where the Ebon Hawk is. Cool. Oh, well, that's the wrong direction. I think that's the right direction. Nope, that's out. That's the right direction. Right here. Boy, I'm stupid. <laughs> All right, so we have discovered what was inside the ruins. Padawan, a word, if I may. There are many rumors of your most recent meeting with the Jedi Council. There is talk that they are sending you on a mission to help us against Malak and the Sith. I don't think the Council would want me to speak openly of this mission. Please understand that I am not asking you to reveal anything that could endanger the Order or the Republic. Whatever task the Council has given you is for your ears, not mine. I only wanted to wish you well and to warn you to be careful. There are many evils out there, many dangers. The Sith are not the only minions of the dark side. What could be more dangerous than the Sith? Master Dorak has been training me to succeed him as chronicler here in the Academy. In my studies, I have come across tales of creatures that are born of the dark side, monsters of pure evil. The worst of these abominations is the Terran Tatic, a beast that feeds on the blood of those who are strong in the Force. Over the centuries, many Jedi have fallen to their ravenous hunger. Uh, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that right. Tarantatic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can pronounce that right. Um, what makes this creature so dangerous? The Tarantatic is a predator, and we Jedi are its prey. It is, they are incredibly strong, with a primal cunning, and they have an inborn resistance to the Force. They are, there are some who believe that Tarantatic is the monster bred by the ancient Sith and spread through... Whoa, that's fast. Fortunately, the Tarantatic is quite rare. They only dwell in the most dangerous and darkest of places. In fact, only one has not been seen in nearly 40 years. Well, it sounds like they're extinct. This is not the first time the Tarantatic have vanished for long periods of time. Many believe they can lay dormant for years, only to rise and hunt when the power of the dark side waxes full. Like now. I fear Malak's rise may have woken these creatures from these dormant states. Their dormant state. Once the Sith are beaten, I would not be surprised if the Council organized another great hunt to try and exterminate them. Uh, what's the great hunt? The Great Hunt was organized by the Jedi Council shortly after the war against Exar Kun. Jedi were scattered throughout the galaxy, helping to rebuild from the devastation. Many Jedi vanished during this period, disappearing from a variety of worlds without warning. We did not know they had been slain until their mutilated bodies began to be discovered. The Council investigated and discovered the Tarantatic were behind the killings. It was decided the galaxy had to be purged of these insatiable monsters, though the cost proved high. So they just killed the creatures. The Tarantatic are an abomination. They are ruthless engines of death and destruction. The Council had no choice but to destroy them, for the greater good of the galaxy. Many Jedi banded together and journeyed to the planets that were suspected of harboring the Tarantatic. The Great Hunt did not rest until all the creatures had been slain, or almost all. There were still rumors of Tarantatic on the planet of Korriban, a dark world some believed to be the birthplace of the Sith. That is where Exar Kun was corrupted during the First Sith War. They never went to Korriban. The Council, fearing more Jedi might fall to the dark side, declared the Great Hunt was officially over, though three Jedi were appointed to continue the work. The work of killing the Tarantatic, you mean? What was so special about those three? The Jedi chose to continue the hunt on their own were Duran Keldroma, Gun Hal Suresh, and Shaila Nur. These three shared a powerful bond, and each of them was devoted to the light. 
The council felt that together they would be able to defeat Eren Terentatek they found, and by supporting each other they could resist the temptations of Korriban and the lure of the dark side. But none of the three survived. Their master felt them become one with the Force when they left this world. He believed they were slain by one of the monsters they sought. The council felt it was too dangerous to send anyone else in search of their remains, so their exact fate is not known. But let their death serve as a warning to you, Padawan. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll be careful. A final warning as you go, Padawan. Do not underestimate the Terran Tatek. If you do, you may suffer the same fate as those who disappeared after the Great Hunt. Fair enough. That one line got skipped. Not by me. That was the game skipping ahead before I could actually fully read it. Um, don't know what that was about. But... Uh, we have explored the ruins. We have now been warned about the Tarantotic, which is a hell of a thing. A very evil thing, apparently. And, uh, we have now been given a great mission by the Jedi Council. Now we must seek out the Star Forge by piecing together the map pieces that are left on other planets. Seems a little contrived. But, you know, that's sometimes how stories are. Anyway, uh, it seems that we have to go to Kashyyyk, Manan, uh, Tatooine, and Korriban. I guess we'll find out more about those in future episodes, won't we? But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and eventually we're going to find out where the Star Forge is but first we have to piece together the map from the other planets where the star map is apparently located or at least pieces of it and uh, we're going to do it with our buddies and Jahani who is now tagging along because I saved her from the dark side for you.